Hi everyone. Today we're going to be using Google Sheets to make a table that will do all the math calculations for us in order to find the area and the perimeter of rectangles and triangles. So come up here to new. I'm going to make a new Google Sheet. It will open it for you. First thing you want to do is to give it a title so that you don't get your Google Drive all messed up. We'll call this math formulas. Okay, we're going to start on B2 and give it our headings. Every rectangle is going to have a length and a width. We're going to be calculating area and perimeter. All right, I'm going to highlight B through E and four rows under them. So I've highlighted five rows. I'm going to put borders around it and center it by using the horizontal alignment. Everything's now centered. Oh, what I want to do is now put a title at the top of this. And I forgot at the beginning on purpose so I could show you how to do it. If you click up here anywhere in row two and you right click with your mouse, there's an option to insert a new row. I can insert that row and I have a new row here. I'm going to highlight all these four cells in that row and use the merge cell button to combine them together and put a border. And now it's all one big box and I'm going to call it rectangle formulas. All right. Now, say I had a rectangle with a length of two and a width of five. Area, the formula for area is just length times width. So this should be 10. I'm not just going to type 10 in that box because I actually want a formula because if this changes to three, then yeah, my area is not changing. So I'm going to put a formula in here. So to type a formula, of course, equal sign. Click on the length, length times width. So the member of the times on a computer multiply is an asterisk. So it equals the length box multiplied by the width box. And then you can just push return and it's all done. Once that formula is set up correctly, you can use this crosshair in the bottom right corner to drag that formula to all the other boxes in that column. So now if I have another shape with a length of seven and a width of 12, it will automatically calculate the area for me. Perimeter is a little harder because every rectangle has two lengths and two widths. I need to add them together, but I'm not going to use the sum function because I'm doing a little bit more than just adding. I have to add it two times. So there's a few ways to do it, but we'll set it up like this. Equals, because it's a formula, two times the length plus two times the width, because a rectangle will have two lengths and two widths. So your formula equals two times the length box plus two times the width box. Now push return and I can drag that formula to all the other columns and the formula is automatically done for me. And this works if the numbers are really crazy, like 32.726 as a length and 14.829. It's going to automatically calculate the area and the perimeter for me, no matter what numbers I put in this box. Okay, let's do one for triangles. Triangle is going to have the base and the height. And we're going to be finding the area. The perimeter of a triangle, eh, we can't really set that up in a table like this because a triangle might have three sides of different lengths. I'm going to make a title by combining these three cells and writing triangle formulas. I'm going to highlight that and the headings and four more rows under it and center everything and give it borders. All right, base and height. The base could be eight and the height could be 13. What's the formula for the area of a triangle? Well, it's one half 
times the base times the height. So you could do half the base times the height, or the base times half the height, or you could do the base times the height, and then divide that in half. That's what we'll do. Equals base times height, now divided by two. Base times height divided by two. Half the base times the height. So the base times the height divided by two. It's the slash and then the two. Push enter, and that's the area for a triangle with a base of eight and a height of 13. Drag that formula to every box. And then no matter what your base and height are, it will automatically calculate this for you, even if your numbers are long numbers with decimals, it will automatically calculate the area for you. All right, that's the assignment today. Create a table where you can find the area and perimeter for a rectangle, and another table where you're calculating the area for a triangle. Good work.